hello everyone today in this video we are going to make vibration meter using the arduino uno so let's get started now we are going to look at the circuit diagram so this is the arduino uno right here and this is the vibration sensor module right here so we are going to connect the vcc of the vibration sensor to the 5 volt of the arduino uno next the ground pin of the vibration sensor is connected to ground of the arduino uno next the output pin of the vibration sensor is connected to digital sixth pin of the arduino uno so this was about the circuit diagram now let's understand the code section so first of all i am declaring the input pin that is digital pin 6 of the arduino as the input using the input variable which is of the type constant integer next i am declaring a variable known as vibrations which is of the type long next in the void setup i am setting the pin mode of input pin that is pin number 6 on the arduino as the input next i am initializing the serial monitor with a baud rate of 115200 Next in the void loop part I am using the pulse in function in order to record the pulses coming on the digital pin 6 of the Arduino. So whenever the pulse goes from low to high this pulse in function starts counting and whenever the pulse goes from high to low this pulse in function stops counting and returns the value. So whatever value this pulse in function will record it will be stored into this vibrations variable next if the value of vibrations is greater than zero this if statement execute here i am just calling a function known as sense which takes the argument as vibrations which is of the type long as we know here in the function sense i am just printing the value of the vibrations on the serial monitor so whatever values we are getting from the vibration sensor we are going to plot the values on a graph using the arduino's serial plotter so this was about the code section now let's test our circuit so here you can see this is the vibration sensor module which is mounted on a small vibration motor this is the arduino uno right here and this is the diy variable power supply so we have connected the output of the variable power supply to the input terminals of the motor we have connected this section according to the circuit diagram now let's activate the power supply so you can see we are using this small vibrator motor in order to produce the vibration on this module on the screen you can see that we are getting the vibrations using the serial plotter so if I increase the voltage we can see on the serial plotter the graph is also changing. You can see the magnitude of vibrations is also low on the serial plotter. You can make various other devices such as earthquake detector with this project so this was about our project i hope you have liked it thanks for watching mm -hmm.